um, felt another light come back on. And I actually went and did things with my son that evening that I haven't done in a long time. So, you know, we girled out. I'm thinking, what am I doing? Is this me? Am I, am I back? I was back. Um, yes, by yesterday, I'm starting to get convinced this is working. How long is this working? It is wiping clean the, the murkiness that was over me. I was almost like scrubbing of your brain. Oh, that's good. Almost like scrubbing of your brain. Um, and to, to know the depths that I was in for so long, I was faking it. I was, you know, in life, I was just barely getting through. I felt like I was on the verge of tears. And for all of that to be lifted off of me, it was like somebody just pulled it out and it was gone. Um, woke up this morning, um, well, to my son, scaring the living dickens out of me. Um, did the kind of hover over you thing, scared me. And of course my heart raced after being woken up like that, but it went away quickly, like it normally should, not the, the usual three hour try to get better routine that I was used to, gone. Spring in my step, um, my son can notice it. Um, my job notices it. Um, my office manager actually said something to me yesterday about it. She's like, you're back. Wow. <laughs> I've been gone since March. You're back. Wow. And I was like, yeah, I'm back. I got my passion for my life, for my business, for my family, for my friends, um, my relationship with the Lord, oh, which had just rolled way off base. And, you know, I was starting to question everything, even in that. Um, being of a person of faith, I, you know, did spend some time at church on Sunday talking to the Lord about it. Um, was just at the bottom, even with him and telling him, you know, look, I, I can't keep doing this anymore. I'm, I'm not going to make it. I need help, I need out. Well, did I know that I was coming on Monday to get the help that I needed. So I'm in the third day of NAD treatment, I'm expecting this to get better and better as I move along, because it is, it truly is, and I'm not having to do anything but just participate and be here. It's amazing. I mean, really, if I, was, if it was, if I wasn't living it and I wasn't experiencing it, you which- You share it. No, yeah. no, and I can remember telling people that were depressed to that level, Oh my gosh, get over yourself. Yeah. This is what I, even what I thought. Um, I thought, you know, oh God, you know, get a grip. You know, what's wrong with you? Now, after experiencing a very deep depression of catastrophic proportions, I feel completely different about depression. One, I see that it's inescapable by yourself, alone. And now I'm going to tell everyone <laughs> where to go and how to get relief because I, I do believe it's a combination of, you know, faith in God, but without these infusions, there's absolutely no way that I would be seeing as clearly as I am right now and feeling as good as I do. And I want to thank you, Cindy, um, from the depth of my heart, because you've enlightened me today. You're a breath of fresh air, and I do appreciate it. And I felt the need to record this because there may be someone listening or viewing this that is in that same condition. So if you are... Um, we'd like to welcome you to our practice here at Aware Med. Um, our number is 843-213-1480. If you have questions, just give us a call. We're more than happy to welcome you into our family. Thank you for viewing. Thank you, Sandy, for being here, for being so receptive to share your, your life with everyone viewing this. We appreciate you so much. We love you. Thanks so much.